Shalom, 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 guys. I am so happy to be with you guys today. I'm sorry, I'm telling my kids to go back upstairs because they like to come down as soon as you start pressing play or record the video. <laughs> At uh, what time is it? Let's see. 7.30. Okay. Well, I wanted to try to make this video real quick for my kids started school. So, um, and y'all, I'm not really used to doing a, most majority of my videos, y'all don't see me. Today y'all see me. Reason being is because I'm not a really good camera person. Honestly, I'm not. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm camera shy. I am. I don't know what to do on no camera. Okay. Um, so I wanted to talk to y'all today about Mulan because I watched the movie, the new Mulan movie that they just put out um, the night before last and blew me everything that we was always everything that we already been saying we just literally what this movie was about was everything that I said in my last video, follow your heart okay, if you notice in the beginning of the song um, the first thing they say and this one of my uh, YouTube subscribers, one of you guys actually pointed this out in a comment a while back about how on that Mulan song um it's saying uh did they send me daughters when I asked the sons and y'all don't be talking about my singer skills I tried to sing over a little bit so hopefully they won't like take the video down and try to ding us because I'm like singing it in my singing <laughs> it's not that good but um yeah, so did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? So 
one of you guys have pointed that out. And I said, it. that is very interesting that they said that as we've been talking about the $144,000 being daughters of Zion, I really believe it's in my heart. But I do have room for other possibilities. As we discussed in the last video, we see that it's the army is two groups of 72,000. Um, we've mentioned that it could be that one group is men, one group is women, um, or both groups is women. Um, and that's what I feel in my heart. As you know, we talked about the, the, the show um, in the last video, Follow Your Heart. Okay. Um, reason being is because the heart is what houses your spirit, okay? And the spirit, the heart is mind. The heart is consciousness, okay? Um, that's why they say you have like three brains. So you have your mind, you have your heart as a mind, and then your stomach as a mind, okay? So they say we have like three minds. But when we, we're talking about following our heart, because we know that that's where the spirit resides. So today we're going to be talking about spirit, Spirit, woman and spirit. Of course, the show was about Mulan. It was about a woman. And it was about her spirit. If you guys don't know, chi, which is what they kept um, saying, her chi, her chi, that's talking about her spirit, okay? Um, the spirit was strong within her. The chi was strong within her, okay? And as I'm watching this, I'm just like, I can't believe I didn't watch this sooner. <laughs> So, <clears throat> the chi was strong within her family. And I told you guys in the last video, we talked about how in the Bible Jesus said, uh, my, they put father, my father is stronger than I, but what he actually said there is, my mother is greater than I. And we talked about the woman, the mother, the wife, being equated with the heart, with the spirit. We explain this all by scriptures. We got the scriptures telling you that the wife is the spirit, Okay, so the Holy Spirit is feminine, okay, it is a white archetype, um, represents the heart, it represents earth. So we've been talking about this as we've discovered the two witnesses being heaven and earth. So, <clears throat> so the heart, woman, earth, okay, all represent the same thing, spirit. So... They kept saying the spirit is strong within her. The chi is strong within her. And Mulan had been, because it was bad. Now, this is this is what I want to talk about. It was bad for women to have chi, right? I've been listening to Beyonce's song. Um, is it Flawless? Where she has the, the woman talking and she said, we, we teach girls to shrink themselves, um, to expire to you know um have accomplishments but not too many or we threaten the man okay so it's kind of like that situation and i've been listening to that song because i was feeling that okay <laughs> over this this message must have been it's coming through from spirit because i've been feeling this way so um not in my personal life but just feeling this way and you know when it's not in your personal life you know that you experience okay so um i mean i have in my personal life now everything that not specifically what i'm talking about today but um so it was bad for the women to have chi y'all ain't that jacked up it's bad for me to have too much chi what <laughs> so you know she had been being taught to hide her chi so when she went to the army and, um, you know, the commander was saying, you know, we didn't know you had this chi. Like, why are you hiding your chi? You know what I'm saying? And she, you know, went back to where her family basically instilled it in her to basically hide her chi. Now, this is important because I was just feeling some type of way and I had to take it to God, okay? And I was actually, I'm going to do a whole separate video on this. Um, but I'll just interject a little bit of uh, what I was saying. So, basically, we raise our daughters, women, we're, like, groomed. Um, and I, I haven't watched that movie, Cuties, that everybody been raving about. Um, but I guess that's, like, the theme of the movie is 
I don't know, I watched Tanya TKO show and she talked about it and she made some really good points about how we kind of raise our daughters to only, uh, you know, compete for men. And, and that's exactly what the song that Beyonce said, um, you know, the woman said to me, to compete, but we don't compete in things that matter. We compete for men, okay? Um, and basically how we rear our daughters or bring them up to aspire to be a mother and a wife. You know what I'm saying? And it's nothing wrong with that. I We should do those things. But my problem with that, and this is what failed me in my life, my problem with that is we teach our um, young girls and our daughters to aspire to do that, but we don't teach them to aspire to do other things first. Do y'all hear me? First. Meaning, I've, I've been married since, I've, I've been with my husband since I was 19 years old. So you can imagine how sometimes I feel and I really had to take this to God. I mean, it makes women very resentful and this is why marriages don't last. Um, we have all of these things, abortions going on and all these things. But we're going to get really deep into that in another video. So I don't really want to go deep into that. This is about Mulan. But so... <clears throat> Um, and I'm just like, part of the problem of that is we teach our, you know what I'm saying? We raise our daughters to just want, supposed to marry and have kids. I mean, that is a very miserable life. I'm not saying miserable. I love my, I have four beautiful children. I love my kids. I love my husband to death. They make my life. Okay. They do. They are really are my life. But I mean, come on now. Y'all can't sit here and say y'all don't need, you know, other things, friends, family alone time mental time you know what i'm saying you can't say that we don't need all of these other things and and to feel like we have accomplished some things we go into these situations and then um it's like a, a setup it's just like how they talk about mary magdalene now i heard uh was listening to a video where somebody was talking about and they were saying basically she was married no i was actually reading something i forget what it was in but they said that after her husband had, you know, basically put her out and everything, women couldn't work and all of that. So the only thing that women could do was prostitute. You know what I'm saying? Um, because there was no other way for them to survive. So it's basically like that type of situation. We set our women up for failure, telling them not to have any accomplishments, to only accomplish getting married and having children. And then you become in a situation to where... You can't leave that situation. You can't, you you know, you feel trapped. It's all of this other stuff. Marriages would so much last if everybody felt secure within themselves first. And then they would be secure within the relationship. Do y'all see how that works? Which we talked about in the last video of Follow Your Heart. How we need to heal our inner marriage. Right? We need to heal our inner marriage. And then our outer marriage we can heal our outer marriage. Okay, so now let's go back to Mulan because I'm drifting off. Now Mulan, <clears throat> um, okay, we're, so she had to hide her cheat. And her father told her, was like, you know, you bring honor to the family, or it was her father or her mother. Um, her father really didn't want to do it, but he felt like he waited too long and all of this to teach her her place, okay? Her place, our place. Do y'all hear this? Oh, my God. Our place, ladies, our place. OMG. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but basically, that's... <laughs> y'all probably laughing at me. That's why I don't do on camera because I'm, I'm too goofy and stuff and stuff, okay? So, um... So... Her place. Okay, let's start there. So, they actually try to give us a place. And the place is beneath. Beneath. Okay, let's not sugarcoat it. It's beneath. And that is just not what it is. That's not what God is on. Okay, so... Um, so, they told her that she was supposed to bring honor to the family by marriage. Getting married and having kids. Okay. I'm just like, you know, Mulan wasn't for it. She just stole the armor. She didn't, she just, she didn't, you know. 
she said, I'm taking my place. Okay, and that's where we are right now, ladies. Take your place. Okay, take your place. Take your power back. Take your place. Take your power. Okay, and so basically, if a woman had too much chi, she was demonized and called a witch. Ain't this what we've been talking about, family? We, if you haven't seen my video of demonization at 144,000, go check it out. Okay, and I said that these 144,000 daughters is going to be demonized, going to be called witches. I done been called a witch <laughs> on this very channel. Look, <laughs> so I'm not tripping, but um, they caught so it was another woman who had all of this she and she was powerful. And, you know, she was telling all the other men, basically, you know, I, look, I'll rip your head off. i take your head off out here, like, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, but you can't because you need us because you're a woman. And ain't nobody going to accept you type of thing. Okay? And I'm just like, so, um, <laughs> but she like, i take your head off. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but basically, they was calling her a witch. Why? Because she was a better warrior than the man she was more powerful i mean she shaped ships and she turning into birds and stuff look <laughs> she was turned into an owl okay and look let me tell y'all something ow she turned into an owl and it's like at that time she died mulan was born it, it was kind of like she sacrificed herself for mulan because he tried to kill her he tried to shoot her with the bow and arrow and she flew in front of the arrow or whatever, and she told me why when she was dying, take your place. I start crying. Take your place, girl. Take your place. <sighs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so um, it was kind of like at that point as she died, that was kind of like the mother archetype. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That went bad that they demonized as a witch and she went bad. You know what I'm saying? That good girl going bad type, Rihanna type. You know how they make all the good girls go bad in their career. Okay. <laughs> so, because she was, you know, scorned. Okay. What, what do they say? Uh, uh, a woman scorned. What is it? Hell have no fury like a woman scorned. Okay. So, um... But it was like, at that time, it was like a, a death and rebirth at that time. And, and she was just like, I'm going in now, okay? <laughs> but, um, so, where was I? So, yeah, basically, demonization of the women for being too powerful with their teeth. But we know, as we talked about in the Bible, and I'm so glad we got this confirmation. I'm so glad I watched this movie right after I did the video on Follow Your Heart, where I talked about the woman having a greater spirit and how um, Malachi 2, when you read it, a little towards the end of the chapter, say, did not he make one, one spirit? And did not he, Adam, have the residue of the spirit? Meaning Adam had the residue of the spirit. Meaning he had the smaller portion, okay? Eve had the greater portion because she was actually personified as the spirit. She was that life that was blown into Adam. Adam was born of a woman. And this is why when you read what the Solomon say, no, no man have come into the world but through a woman, right? Um, every man have had this beginning. That's what Solomon said. Or something to that effect. Don't quote me. Just go read it for yourself. I can't even tell you. It's like Wisdom of Solomon chapter. It's somewhere between 7 and 10. Okay. Probably 8-ish, 9-ish. But, um. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, even Adam was born from Eve. Okay. And this is how we get this mother, son, husband, wife relationship. Do y'all understand this? father daughter okay father daughter mother son husband wife it's because eve was adam's wife but in the way she was his mother okay because he was brought forth from her and this and we got this in first corinthians 11 now you got to get it in the new international version where it say um as 
woman came from man, so was man born from woman. And we, I'm not going to read all of these scriptures because we read these in the last video. So just watch the last video, follow your heart, okay? Meaning follow your spirit. That's what that means, follow your spirit, your chi, okay? So that's what we're talking about. So it was a uh, demon, so that she was demonized for having more chi. But we know uh, from our last video where I explained it and I gave the scriptures where it say that God has made... The spirit is made strong in weakness, okay? And as I've been explaining to you guys, the Bible is puzzle pieces. So who is called weak in the Bible? The weaker vessel. And man, women are called the weaker vessel, and men use this to their advantage. We talked about this without understanding that though we are the weaker vessel, we are the stronger spirit, okay? God has given us what each other has lacked, and this is why we need to... Um, work together okay and it's funny because i think it's a scripture that say you will not lack you will not lack okay uh, uh fear not you will not lack i'm i'm gonna have to look it up but i'm i'm feeling that okay you will not lack so um but we are given what the what the other person is lacking in so though eve was the weaker vessel Okay, woman is the weaker vessel. She lacks in physical strength. And I'm not going to say lack because let me show you these muscles. Women are strong, okay? <laughs> but as compared to a man, a woman is the weaker vessel. Okay, the man is stronger. However, what man don't understand or take into account is that the woman is the stronger spirit. And this is why you are to follow your heart. This is why I keep telling you that the woman is the teacher and the spirit, and she's the higher self. The man is more of the lower self, the materialistic side. He represents the flesh, the body, which is why he is the stronger vessel, okay? Which is why when Eve was made, Adam said, what? Flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone. Meaning that she got her flesh from him, but she was the spirit. Do y'all understand what's taking place? Eve was the spirit. She got a little bit of little bit of flesh from Adam, meaning she's the weaker vessel. Adam was the flesh, but he needed spirit to live, so he received a little bit of spirit from Eve that gave him life. Okay? And this is the whole story that's really going on in the Bible. Choose life or choose death. Choose your wife to or choose death. A uh, strange, which is uh, talked about as being a strange woman. Okay. So, <clears throat> my spirit is made strong in weakness. Okay. So, the spirit is stronger in the woman. She's the weakness that that is talking about. But see, we don't like to put two and two together. We like to just read it and say, my spirit is made strong in weakness. Which it is. That's for everybody, but it's a deeper interpretation there. And it's, it's the woman having the greater spirit, the greater chi. Okay, the greater chi. I'm going to put a little bit of this lip gloss on because as I'm talking, my lips getting drier and drier. And we're going to read about the chi. shorter or coming back to you guys. <laughs> 